Wow, shard of dangerous horn. I just so happen to have one. Ooh. Barbarian leg wraps are mine. They are upgraded. <sighs> this is the last or one of the last times we'll ever see this animation. <laughs> Barbarian leg wraps. Now let's see the long way. This honestly is the most awaited uh, set bonus of all of them for me because it's it's attack gear which fits my playstyle. If if you're good enough to not get hit, then it doesn't matter how much defense you have. But it does matter how many time, how quickly you can kill your opponent. Charge attack, stamina up. Huh. I was not expecting that, so... Oh. Okay, so to get to the third charge, that's what happens. Uh, let me equip uh, my Thunder Helm. Uh, it takes half a stamina bar in order to get to the third level. Now... Come on. When I charge up... So it, it cuts... It takes a full stamina bar to charge my weapon normally. And then it takes half that now. Huh. Okay, well, that's not terrible. I'm not sure if it's that good because chances are if you're trying to... Although, actually, it, no, it spin... It, it also speeds up the the charge time too so that's kind of a mixed bag i guess i'm not exactly sure what to think about that i do need to die it that's for sure but uh yeah it is what it is i think the ancient set's still better but when i'm not using a triple attack potion plus ancient weapons like if i'm just trying to get usage out of a a uh Lionel weapon this is definitely the best altern uh the best method of doing so so I'm happy. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we finished Terrytown. We finished the From the Ground Up quest, and now Terrytown is its own bustling community. We got dressed up for a, a wedding between Ronson and Hudson, uh, and she signed her children's names away. They have to contain son in the name, as per Bolson Construction Company guidelines. But I think they were both happy. Now this episode, before we go to the Rito Village, there was a quest, a possible quest, which I, I found out about when talking to one of the, one of the citizens here. And she talked about something having, something happening at night. So I'm going to quickly see if I can scope that out. Otherwise, we're just going to make a beeline to Rito Village. Hmm, ha. Ah. Hmm, and you are? I'm sorry, this is a very personal matter. Could you leave, please? Why, certainly. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my demonic Diablo horns, walk out here, and... Wait for it. Quick change. Da-da-da-da. 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 Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do. Our daughter... The only thing she'll eat is a is cake. Can't anything be done? We've scoured the world, searching for a cake that will please her. None have. Imagine how much money we've spent. Mm. Papa, excuse me. What's more important to you, money or our daughter? Wait, why is she calling him Papa? That, that's weird. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I see. If that's the case, even if I have to sell my soul to a monster. Ah. Uh... I'll get my hands on a cake that will cure our daughter. You're talking about monsters now. That's This is absolutely insane, Mama. Why is he calling her Mama? They're married, I think. Parents love. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you've overheard a fight between Hoggy and Ruli, husband and wife. Their daughter, Huni, is sick and won't get any better if she doesn't eat. But the thing is, she only the only food she has an appetite for is cake, and finding a particular cake to please her has proven nearly impossible. Really is at her wit's end and ready to trade her soul to a monster if it means finding a cake her daughter will eat. Where are you going to find a suitable cake? I don't know. <laughs> uh, the thir first thing I can think of is the place at Hateno Village where we can trade in our, our soul fragments. But I'm not sure how that's going to work, so let's listen in again and see if we get any more details. Mm. Our daughter, the only thing she'll eat is cake. Can't anything be done? Oh, oh they say the same exact dialogue. Uh. 
So I suppose I could... <sighs> okay, before I go crazy and go to a completely different side of the world, I'm going to sleep until morning and then talk to her. Maybe we can arrange something. Ha. Ah. Hello. Did you need something for me? Are you alright? Yes, don't worry yourself. I only wish that our daughter would eat more and recover her strength. At night, I've got to ask Papa for advice again. Ah, uh, so... Whoa. Whoa, okay, so we get a lot of... A lot of dialogue here. What you like eating? I hate, hate, hate it all! But I'll eat some cake if you have some. Tell me something else. Ever hear of the Calamity? What's that? I don't care. Tell me something else. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Tell me something else. That's it. So, we need to trade a soul to a monster to get a cake and, and do stuff with it. I'm tempted to look this one up. Uh, I'm going to go to Hitano, talk to Mr. Thing, Mr. Miyagi, the, the statue that trades our souls for hearts. See if he has anything new to say. If not, I'm looking this this baby up, because this is weird. Hello, statue. Do you know anything about trading souls for cake? You care to tamper with your essence, yes? Yes, please. Oh. Um. He has nothing to say about cake. That's awkward. So as I said, I decided I was going to look this one up because it's a very specific thing and I'm I'm kind of ready to be out of Terrytown. It's been such a mainstay quest in our in our let in this let's play that it just feels right to move on. And also, I've been trying to get to the Rito village for two episodes now and finish the shrine quest there. So this this feels like a a small thing. So I decided to look up this quest. Apparently, in the aforementioned Rito Village, there is a book of recipes, which I will probably find it when we go there. There's a book of recipes, and one of those is for a cake. And that cake is called a nut cake. And it requires Tabantha wheat, goat butter, sugar cane, and an acorn. Now, if we take that recipe and substitute out the acorn with monster extract, what we will get is a monster cake. Again, I have no clue how we are supposed to solve this one normally through trial and error. Uh, apparently there is a missed dialogue option that we could have had with with the child that gives a, that where she talks about a monster cake and it having cured her. So there is that, but otherwise, this is the wrong house. Otherwise, this is one of those quests where you would have had to have known what a monster cake is prior. This is probably the wrong house again. Yeah, wrong house again. So, now that we've done it, I mean, it's not too frustrating. It was a very easy solution just to look it up. And I would, I would have loved to pose this question to you guys if we had found this earlier. But the fact that we've spent so much time here, I think it's just it's right to look it up and get it out of the way. Hoonie or honey? Hi! Hi! Tell me a story. What you like eating? I hate, hate, hate it all. But I'll eat some cake if you have some. Uh, I have cake... I don't know how to feed it to you. Maybe I should talk to your mom. Hey, Mrs. Mom. Hello. Do you need something for me? Take this. This is cake. What is... Is this a monster cake? I should give this to my daughter? Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. It's it's really ki quite pungent, pungent. <sighs> I suppose I can't complain about things like that. If our daughter, daughter can get better thanks to this cake, I'll try to get her to eat it right away. And we had to wait outside for that. Uh, check in with Ruli to see how Huni is doing. Wow. She's barking like a dog. I turned her into a monster. Thank you so much. That monster cake. Our daughter wolfed it down with unbelievable gusto. It seems her health has returned to her. I don't even know what to say. I'm just so thankful. Oh, I know. This isn't much, but please take it. A gold rupee. Could you maybe try talking to her sometime as well? Sure. Hello, Hooney. Ah, it's the traveler guy. Well then, say, have you ever heard of a monster cake? Absolutely. Isn't it so gross? Ick. I don't know if it's just because I eat the monster cake, but I have so much energy now. If you run out of energy, you should eat some too. Uh, I didn't actually look at what the monster cake did, but I can make another one to see what its status effects are.
It said once you have a taste of this cake, you'll never forget its sweetness. It seems to just give us hearts, but I can, I'm going to use up some of my stamina here and see if maybe it has a special hidden property. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll eat it anyway. What does it do? <sighs> nothing. Okay, it does absolutely nothing. So, <laughs> the power of placebo, everyone. The power of placebo. All right, now that we've actually... Now that we're actually done with Terrytown, I don't think there's anything left for us. Let's move on to... Rito Village. About time. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to take up so much of the episode. And from the sky! Hui! Is there anything... Oh, there, there is something different. There is a, a woman here now. I call her a woman, but she's... You know, like, three feet tall. Grr! My sisters are dumb dummies! They promised... Oh, by the way, I'm back at Warbler's Nest because I was told that after taming Divine Beast Va Meadow, this would change. They promised we'd rehearse together, but no one showed up. We have to perform our song for the Elder at Warbler's Nest. We're going to be laughed off the stage. Oh. Hey, you. You look like I can use you. Wow. Manners much. That is to say, you look like a nice guy who likes to help people in need. Yeah, I would lead with that line next time. Can you go tell my sisters in Rito Village to stop ditching rehearsal? They won't listen to me, but they might listen to a scary-looking Hylian like you. Although Gen Lee might be a tough sell, she's probably in the kitchen yelling. Oh. I want some Salmon Munier! Or something like that. She doesn't want to sing either. She's such a pain. Recital at the Warbler's Nest. And that is an actual quest that we can follow. Recital at Warbler's Nest. Kiel, youngest of the five sisters inhabiting Rito Village, is furious that her sisters haven't shown up for singing practice. Go and find her eldest sister, Knots, second eldest sister, Kotz, third eldest sister, Gen Lee, and fourth eldest sister, Cree, somewhere in Rito Village, and tell them to meet Kiel. You, what are you, who are you? Are you one of the sisters? A Molly. Uh, you're not one of the sisters, so I won't talk to you right now. Taba. Good to see you, man. Hmm. I see you got the great eagle, go eagle bow from the Elder. That thing is way too heavy to use in aerial fighting. I'd end up s sacrificing all my speed just to take a shot. Mm. Now, if I had both the strength and speed of Master Rivali, that would be a different story. But seeing the way you handled your bow against Meadow, I suggested we let you borrow the great eagle bow. Take it with you on your adventure, along with the respect of the Rito. Well then, my wounds are just about healed. So I guess it's time for me to go take uh, Tulin to the flight range. I'm hoping Tulin to grows up to be a distinguished warrior like Master Rivali. Huh? Okay, Tulin, let's go to the flight range. Aww. Really, Dad? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Link. I'll be at the flight range if you need me. Ah! Hey, guy, come play with us at the flight range sometime. We should definitely do that. It seems like that would be a good learning opportunity for his son. But still, that's not a, a one of the sisters that we need to find. <laughs> Gen Lee, hurry, hurry. I need Salmon Munier in my belly. I know Kiel wants me to practice singing with her, but I just can't. Not until I get my Salmon Munier. My sister's already left to get Salmon Munier ingredients. I told them I wouldn't sing until I get it. I didn't expect them to actually make it for me, though. I don't want to practice singing. But I really do want some yummy Salmon Munier. What's taking my sister so long? I thought they were just going to the Slippery Falcon. Yay, fetch quests! Where is the Slippery Falcon? <laughs> yeah, yeah! I, got, I bought some goat butter. Huh? Rehearsal? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> if I give you this goat butter, will you make some Salmon Munier for Gen Lee? She should be in the kitchen. She said she won't sing until she's eaten. Our oldest sister, Knotts, is probably practicing her song somewhere up high. Knotts left to get some hearty salmon. She's probably fishing at the pond near the entrance to the village. That is all good information. Hello, that's not how you fish. hi ya ya! I'm fishing for hearty salmon. Huh? What are you doing here? What? Rehearsal? Oh, I totally forgot! I was too focused on catching these fish! Keel's gonna kill me! Please, take this hearty salmon and go make some salmon munier for Gen Lee. Hopefully she'll feel like singing after she has some. Hearty salmon. 
Are there actually any salmon or fish in here? Oh, no, there are. There totally are. Okay. Thought they were just going to spawn randomly in our inventory, but no. Okay, Salmon Munier. Well, here's the recipe book that contains the recipe for nut cake. But that's no Salmon Munier. Oh, hello. Is that you? Yeah, that's not. La di do do la di do 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 ba. I call that song "Return of the Bird Wrangling Hero." First movement. Thank you for listening. What? Singing her soul at Warbler's, Warbler's Nest. I didn't forget. It's just that Gen Lee really wanted some salmon munier, so my sister uh, sisters and I have been looking for ingredients. I finished early, so I was practicing here to kill time. I feel bad that we left Kiel waiting, though. I really should head over to rehearsal. Well then, I guess I'll give the Tabantha wheat to you. Please meet. Uh, make the best salmon munier for Gen Lee. She says she can't sing on an empty stomach, but I'm pretty sure that's just an excuse. Well, good luck. Okay, so goat butter, Tabantha wheat, and hearty salmon. Hearty salmon munier restores your health and temporarily increases your maximum hearts. The crispy skin of this, fry, har this fried hearty salmon puts its texture in a class all its own. Take it. Hurry, hurry! I need it! That amazing smell! Could it be? S -s salmon Munier? You're going to let me have some, right? Right! Here it is! <laughs> Yay! Time to dig in! Munch, munch! Hung, gung! Mmm, <laughs> I'm stuffed! Huh? I promised to my sisters. Uh, I suppose I shouldn't break it. I really do like singing, but I'm too nervous to sing in front of other people. I have serious stage fright. But maybe practicing with my sisters will help me feel more comfortable. Anyway, thank you for the meal. It was so soft and flaky and delicious. I'll give you I'll give this rehearsal my all. Come listen later. Uh now we can just go to the shrine, right? Yeah, let's go to that shrine. So this was it. No tricky arrow things. No weird boomerang throws. Just five little girls singing a song. Kind of creepy song. Hiya, hiya. Oh no, I messed up. Is there something more to this? Is the shrine supposed to act? Oh, the shrine is going to activate. As soon as we step on it, Rivali's it activates. Thank you, Rivali, for r killing the tension, killing the mood. Okay, so we're standing on it and it's activated. Is this our shot? Do we now shoot between these? Let's see. Uh, one. Two. Three. Four. Let's see. Five. Nothing. Nothing still. Four. Five. Three, one, two. Four, five, three, one, two. That's it. Four. Five. Three. One. Two. Wait, no? What? It's a song passed down in the Rito village that was once sung at Warbler's Nest in ancient times. If you didn't know, Warbler's Nest is a big stone platform with the pillars behind us. It, the lyrics don't make a lot of sense, but there's one line in particular that always catches my ear. When wind convinces the song, the rocks to sing, open the monk's door will swing. Okay, what do you think that means? Was it a monk? Oh, and I almost forgot. I got you a little something. Just a small thanks for bringing all my sisters here. Ta da 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 da. Oh, Korok leaf. Okay, I got it. I, I got it. All right. Uh, what I was thinking, it, we would have to use Rivali's Gale to fly up, but this makes a lot more sense. Give me that Korok leaf, please. That makes so much more sense. Yes. Uh, do 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 do. Korok leaf. Booyah. We can do this now. So let's try the natural order first. One. Two. 
Three. Four. Five. I did it. Wait. I didn't do it. Because... Wait. Question. Hmm. Okay. It was four, five, three, one, two. So let's try that again. Four. Haha. -ha. Yeah, this is right. Four. Five. Three. One. And two. And that's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. That is cool. That's so many different layers of puzzles right there. You need a Korok leaf. You need so many things to fall into place to get that to work. That's great. And it was kind of confusing. Not gonna lie. I wish I wish it hadn't been that confusing. But I, I solved it. I solved it on my own. Wow. Hey, look, guys. Huh? Was that weird-looking house always there? Oh. No, that that's that shrine thing that the elder was talking about. Ah. So cool! Who knew Warbler's Nest was keeping a secret like that? Huh? Let's tell Mom. Oh. Yeah, let's. Can they even fly? See you later! Ah. Last one of Mom is an unhatched egg. Oh. Ready, set. Cuteness overload. As the grill. Why are they so cute? And they can fly, by the way. That's one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And and now to go kill a, a guardian inside of this shrine. Because it's probably not going to be a, a blessing shrine. Vuloda Shrine. The winding route, and thus my my uh, excitement or exuberance of pot. Why is this ladder so tall? What? Where? Where are we going? My exuberance at hopefully finishing both of the the shrines that we found this episode has kind of gone out the window. Plus, there it seems like there are a bunch more quests over in Rito Village. So, what is this shrine? Ah, bo, do, bo, do. Where are we going? Can I land? I can. What just happened? Ah. Uh, okay, I guess we're being taken over there. Come on. Oh, uh, there. Bunch of spikes. I don't think we've ever had a shrine that was a booby trap before. I like that. That's that's new. Uh, also. I should be paying attention to this. Are there any chests down in the lava? Because that that would be a great place to hide one. Okay, I don't see any, but I, that doesn't mean I shouldn't check again. Okay, let's let's go up. Uh, there. And then. Oh, we're gonna have to drop, and then fly, and land. We got a chest. All the lava down there. A sm there's our small key. Okay, that's that's all we need to beat the shrine. But there still could be a chest somewhere. Chest, chest. Ch no chest thus far. But it looks like we can keep going when. Ah, there it is. Oh, land it. And that's all this little area does. A flame blade with long throw. I don't think I need that. Uh, I haven't mentioned it, but I actually have footage laying around of this. Off screen before even last episode, I went back to the Colosseum. And that Colosseum, uh, I was told, would change based on uh, what enemies you, you have defeated. And so, or what Divine Beasts you conquered. 
So I went there, and all of the enemies were equipped, including the Lionel, with elemental weapons. One of each. So that's why you look at my inventory here. And I have a, a great flame blade and, and the like. Because I can, I can now fill up my inventory of whatever elemental weapon I want. Which, technically, I should probably go grab that. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to go grab that. Oh. Well, there goes my Lionel sword. Oops. Yeah, the reason why I'm grabbing that in the first place uh, is, to, is because, apparently, 100% completion for shrines counts the... Uh, all the chests that you've opened. So if you find a chest that has a useless weapon in it, at the very least you should open the chest and throw the weapon on the ground and then keep going and then grab your, up your, the weapon that you dropped because otherwise it won't count as have, having been opened, which is kind of dumb, but I should probably start doing that now that I, I know that I'll have to go back and do it later. And that is going to be it for this episode. Next time in Breath of the Wild, we are going to be getting one more shrine quest completed and then some other quests along the way before I believe that the Tabantha Highlands will be complete. So I've I've seen a couple of quests lying around that I I haven't I didn't start because we were working on the Warbler's Nest quest. So next episode we're going to be doing that. Thank you so much for watching. Ne uh I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, well, Keep watching, because they're only going to get better. See you guys next time for another episode of Pal Plays The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, look at the kids. Look at the kids. They're so cute and trippy and clumsy. And they can't handle stairs, but it's adorable. Okay, see you guys then. We have plenty of fire arrows, but I also want to wait until this thing lights up as there's fire and carnage everywhere and wolves burning and fire, <laughs> fiery wolves. <laughs> well, we did it. I think I would like to believe that it was not the campfire that did that, but in fact, the wolves burning to death and the chaos <laughs> that ensued that actually unlocked that shrine. <laughs> we did it in the most non-